All right, today we have this new drive. Uh, it's a Rosewood Seagate that came in. And I'm probably gonna start making uh, episodes about these drives. So this drive came in in its current condition, looking just like this. Um, so yeah, let's let's uh, open it up. Looks like it's been to somewhere else. Doesn't really matter where, another company. Uh, let's open it up and take a look and see what's going on. So right off the bat, you can tell that this was, the label wasn't properly removed. Whoever removed this just destroyed this. Um, you see the scratches there trying to get the side of the label out. This thing here is ripped. Mm, look at this. Look, I mean, they removed this with the, with a the razor or what? That's insane. <clears throat> I haven't opened this up before, so this is the first time. This honestly looks like <laughs> if Wolverine and Sabretooth were having a fight and this, this drive is tossed in between them, it would not look like this. This, this thing is destroyed. I mean, yeah, terrible, terrible job. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. All right, and uh, yeah, just as I uh, feared, you do have some sort of um, very fine, I can't say fingerprints, they look more like smudges. <clears throat> uh, you probably won't be able to see it on the on this camera, but they're definitely there. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, we'll have to get rid of them somehow, clean them maybe or something like that. Right off the bat, you can tell there are a lot. There's a lot of debris on the uh, on the platters. Uh, nothing like the last video that I made, where you had you know scratches all over it. You had you know fingerprints all over it. <clears throat> this one looks relatively clean, um, but it's been somewhere else. So the first thing to do here in this case would be to take out the head stack assembly, inspect the heads under the microscope, see if there's any debris on them and then we'll go from there. Uh, obviously this was sent into another place. You can see clearly there are markings on the preamp there. So it means at some point someone did try to fix this and you know, if it's here, obviously they fail for whatever reason. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably, I'll make another section to the video and I'll, I'll include it once I take out the heads. Oh, once I take out the head stack assembly. Uh, right now, it's, it's uh, a bit too busy uh, for me to make a full video in one session. So I'll save this, record it, and then when I take out the heads, I'll also make another video of that. So I will have to take out the head stack assembly, inspect it under the microscope, like I said, see if there's any damage. And uh, first, I need to get approval from the customer, find out exactly what was done to this drive, and uh, we'll take it to the next step after that. The point of this video is to show you guys why it is that companies charge for drives that have been opened up by even other companies. Um, you know, it's 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 one thing for a customer to open up and you know do this. It's another for you know a data recovery company to to do it. So I'll keep you guys posted on how this case goes <clears throat> once I get a little bit more information from the client, and I'll find out if. You know the client opened it up himself or you know herself before bringing it into another recovery facility um, yeah, you know, there are smudges all over here it's, it's really difficult to tell but this is like I said a short video on why companies charge additional you know uh, money for drives that have been opened up even by other companies when, whenever a drive is passed down from one company to the next usually the chances of recovery diminish along the way so uh, this is just a short example of maybe this is another case of that. Uh, I can't really tell until we begin the work. And uh, yeah, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something.